watching a let's play by Random Blastoise. Sit back and enjoy. Hey guys, it's Random Blastoise with another part of Let's Play Chicken Run. This is our third part. We're going to look at the plans because I forgot what we've already collected. Right, we've got the pram chassis, we've got the ladder. We've got the fireworks, we still need the matches, the rope, the tennis racket, and the weight. We collected those other items in the last part. Oh god, I need to change the controller settings again. We got caught three times last time. Hopefully it will not happen again. So we're going to go back to where we did most of Act 1 and yeah I'm already getting freaked out because there was a dog nearby. We're going to use Rocky again. Rocky! Your baby doll. We need objects from around the farm. Sleep tight Angel Face. The rug's on the cake. Okay Rocky we've heard you say that already. So we're going to go back to where we were before we're going to move this dog away. Yeah, you can tell when I'm scared and freaking out. And down there, if you saw it or not, there is a piece of the map which we're gonna get. I don't see why not. I don't really see the importance of completing this map, but I'll just collect the pieces just for the hell of it. Got some more sprouts over here. And we're going to go round into the back garden where we got the dress from and the boots. And there are two items over here. I'm getting a bit distracted as you can probably tell. Now unlike last night there are some bricks and gravel on the floor. And look the dog has one of the items we need which is the tennis racket. And the rope which we also need is also nearby. This is where our sneaking comes in handy. Yeah, we're definitely sneaking. Otherwise, we'll seriously have hell to pay. So, we'll get over here. Pick up the rope, which they're calling a strong cord. Go past the dog, pick up the bone. Oh, wait. We're going to equip the bone. Go over to the dog. And, watch this. He has the bone, and we have the tennis racket, and we have woken him up. Crap! And we have already failed. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting that at all, but at least we don't have to go a million miles to retrieve the tennis racket. So, if you wake up that dog, the other one comes. So, we're going to make the trade again, and hopefully be more careful this time. Not a great start. Oh, the dog yawns. And this time we actually escape. So we're going to take these back just for our own safety because the next two items I'm actually quite scared to get because we got Mrs. Tweedy to deal with and she frightens the life out of me in this game. I am not kidding. So, wait, where do we take these two? Uh, that's no help. Oh yeah, hut 15. So we go back to Ginger and then we go to hut 15. Hey! Rocky, did you manage to get anything? Hey, good things come to those who wait, Dolphy. True, true. Okay. So we go into section B, we get these dogs out of the way. Okay, now we can go. Crap. Move yourself, stupid dog. Right, that's him out of the way. So we can go to 15 now. 
And if we can get there without getting caught, we are going to play a mini game. Yes, we made it. So we hand these over. So that's at least one plan done. At last, I found everything you need. Brilliant! That will finish things off nicely. Is the catapult ready to go? Yes, it's outside facing the lake now. Oh yes, the catapult game. I actually hate this game because my aiming is crap. As you're going to witness. Wait. And you can either get a bronze, silver or gold medal. You have to get at least bronze to proceed. I might we might be here a few times. I can't really give any advice on how to do this because as you can see I'm epically failing. But as soon as we get all these mini games done, we can move on to Act 3. What am I saying? There's two mini games left. So, I'll probably fair at this in real life, trying to shoot loads and loads of chickens over a fence with a catapult. How many chickens are there? So, we need at least 20 get over there. And as you can probably tell I'm not going to do it this time around. Oh blimey that one landed on top of the other chicken there. I didn't know he could do that. But I think it's only one chicken per platform. And yes I have epically failed. Hopefully we can get it done the second time. Wow, I'm actually doing better this time. I guess practice makes perfect after all. We can, we can at least get bronze. Come on, we can do it, just two more. One more. Yes, yes, we have bronze, we have bronze. We've finally completed this abomination of a mini game. Bronze is better than nothing. Good show. Awesome sauce. So I think the best thing to do at this point is save the game, which I'm going to do quite a lot of in Act 3. Now this is going to be the most terrifying bit because of facing Mrs. Tweedy. As I've mentioned already, I loathe Mrs. Tweedy in this game. She frightens me to death. C. Where is A? Wrong hole. seem to be going round in circles. I like how the tracks seem to be um, lined that way to go and I don't know if you've seen this before but there's chicken footprints around which can be used as like a guide. Pretty useful. Oh yeah, save the game. We are going to save. So we are going to take on Mrs Tweedy save our game just to be safe. Let's look around Fowler's hut while we're here. Yeah it took a while to save didn't it? Level select, credits, 
Here's just clips from the film. You can view your medals. It doesn't say what game they're for. Great help. And my parents are just coming in. So if I scream and they come in, uh, yeah, I'd be really embarrassed. Okay, I'm back now. I got a bit freaked out last time I'm, and I decided to take a break, so I'm back now. Oh, for the first time, the radar didn't light up red when I went over here. So we're going to use Rocky once more to get our two missing items. He's jogging along. Rocky! Your baby doll? We need objects from around the farm. Sleep tight, Angel Face. The rug's on the case. Now our last two items are in a place we've never been to so far. And we're also going to deal with Mrs. Tweedy. Speak of the devil, here she comes. I wonder what she's looking at on that clipboard. Just want to check that the camera's working. Yes, it is. Now we can either wait for her to stand over there and just run in before she goes... Oh, blimey, I thought she was going to turn around the corner there. She scares me so much. I was in that room for like five minutes before giving up and getting freakishly scared so I just came out and started again. It's a good thing I saved the game there so we're gonna wait here until she comes out again and then sneak in. Oh here she comes. Uh, do you mind Mrs Tweedy we've got a bit of sneaking and stealing to do? Oh, how fascinating a clipboard. So we're going to go in here. And this is the egg sorting room. We're going to be moving a few boxes around. There is a red one over here, which we're going to use. Oh, she's coming back. Great. So we get behind here. There is also an air vent over there, which we're going to use in Act 3 with Nick and Fetcher. But we don't need to worry about that for now. And that's what the other crates are for. Like this one I'm hiding behind. We'll deal with that later. We just need to concentrate on getting the uh, weights and the matches. Wait for her to leave. And then make like the wind. Or whatever. This takes a few tries because we keep coming back because Mrs. Tweedy keeps coming in and out of the room. You'd be scared too if you were trying to steal something and someone kept coming coming in and out of the room. I'm surprised she doesn't notice how the boxes keep moving around for some reason. Right, she's gone. So why are these crates we've got to move to? Oh no, we don't. Wasting time there, because I messed up. Yeah, I keep running over here to hide. But I think that's the safest thing to do. And as soon as I'm out here, I'm going to save the game again. It's a shame you can't move the camera around right behind here, otherwise we'd know her pattern by now. Right, she's gone. Going to get the weights first. Blimey, we landed in the sink. Oh, there's the weights. And the matches are up here. I don't think she'll see us, because the majority of enemies in this game, like Mr. Tweed and the dogs, they don't look up. So, even though Mrs. Tweedy is as tall as hell, she'll probably not notice. Now, the hard bit is getting out. Hmm. How are we going to get out of here? Do 
Can we get out? Alright. We're gonna wait about halfway over here, wait by this box. And because the camera is being a pain and we can't see Mrs. Tweedy's pattern, we just have to take chances. Here she is. And yes, we have safely made it out. Hallelujah. Is she going to come after us? Probably, probably not. But that doesn't matter now. We've got everything we need. So we give these back to Ginger and hope to the love of all things holy that we do not get caught. Yo, baby doll. Rocky. So we've got two more mini games to do. I think we give one of these to Babs. Oh yes, the um, matches we give to her because she's doing the fireworks plan. There's a dog around here. Get rid of them. The dogs, not the sprouts. Right. Right. I hope we don't get caught. This completes what you need, Bab. Oh, thank you, Ginger. I'm getting a bit So am I, Babs. Don't worry. You love it. And we'll all be free at last. All right then. It'll be nice to see a few fireworks, won't it? It would, even though this is an even harder mini game than the catapult. We've got to do a slide of chicken through the open windows. And because the windows close really quickly, you've got to make haste. I don't think I've even saved one yet. So this might take a few tries. I'm killing these chickens. I think I've killed more chickens than Mrs. Tweedy's pie machine has. Again, we've got to save a minimum of 20 to continue. Oh, there's one up here too. I wonder what keeps closing all the doors. Magical force of wind, maybe? If I complete this on the first try, it'd be a miracle. Well, first try in God knows how many years that is. Because I vaguely remember this mini game. Then again, strapping fireworks to a chicken's back in the first place can be assumed animal cruelty. I actually didn't do quite bad, I only needed like four more. Maybe you could just do it with one area, maybe? Just watch the patterns. Right, with this door. Keep firing chickens. I think that might be a good way to do it, just watching the pattern. rather than just going all over the place. And do we have bronze? Yes, we have bronze! It's the second mini game that I've completed on the second try. So, we don't need to um, worry anymore. I think five or ten more gets you silver, I don't know. But bronze is good enough anyway. You're a bright spark. Thank you, Fowler. Thank you, Fowler. See if I can get anything higher than bronze, maybe a silver or possibly even gold. So we take the remaining item, the weights, to hut um, 10, I think, 10 or 11.
like wrong way. I hope we don't get caught. Can we do this? Right, we're in C now. Oh, oh, that was a close shave there. A close shave, get it? Because Chicken Run is Ardman and Ardman made Ross and Gromit and why theirs is the close shave. Going into a random hut here, but anything to escape those dogs. I should have saved the game, shouldn't I? 11, that's the one. And we're safe. I forget this, how the seesaw one works, actually. Here's the big weight you want. Brilliant! We're ready to go! And go we will. All of us. Come on! Now, this is probably going to be a long video. I bet it's like 20 minutes or something by now. That's due to me getting scared and messing up. Oh yeah, these two chickens keep moving the mattress. So... You go get lucky. I think this is easy compared to the other two. But that's not saying much because this one is quite hard as well. This is also similar to the catapult where you can power up by holding the up or down buttons. Will this take two tries to complete as well? Sorry for hurting you guys, girls. There is no male chickens apart from Rocky and Fowler. Sorry girls. I think with the fireworks minigame you've got to get like 40 chickens to get a gold medal and that is a hell of a lot. I could barely get 20. I don't think I've ever played this minigame. I don't remember how far I got when I played when I was a kid. Yep, fail. Can we do it the second try? those chickens would keep still. Oh, I failed again. Oh, I was going to cut all this out, but some people enjoy seeing people fail at Let's Play, and so if you're one of those people, you're probably laughing your head off by now. I'll probably put an annotation somewhere saying to go to where I actually succeed in these mini games because. I haven't completed any on the first try yet. And again, I've still been playing these extra hard mini games and get caught all day.
come on, keep still, stupid chickens. I know you're desperate to get out, but... Oh, come on, how can I reach from there? Come on. Oh, right, I got a bronze just in time there. Just in a nick of time. That's well a miracle. So that's all three mini games complete, and I bet that these plans went awry as well. We got caught four times. Oh no, just once technically. I meant it's four times overall. But being caught only four times isn't bad compared to half the times I played when I was a kid, and the several let's plays I've seen this game. So we're going to save the game here. And I think I'm going to end this video here now because it's been going on for a while. I'll see you in the next part. Goodbye.